What's going on everybody? It's Mitsuni Nico. Welcome back to another video. How's you guys day going? And I've covered Quantum TV and the Ackman situation on this channel before. And well, let's just say that YouTube decided to pick Quantum side over Ackman's. Despite the fact that Quantum TV has sat here and harassed the Ackman, doxed him, called his mother over some simple YouTube drama, abused the copyright system and the guidelines and everything, and YouTube still has not decided to do anything about this guy or his channel. And not only that, they sat here and took his complete side on this and have determined that Quantum TV has done nothing absolutely wrong. As you guys can already tell right now, this sets a terrifying precedent for YouTube and what it allows creators to do because if you're not punished for not following the guidelines and the rules and laws set in place, because as you know, falsely copyright striking a video goes against the guidelines and even goes against the laws, it sets a terrifying precedent for what creators are allowed to do now on the platform. Now that YouTube has decided that Quantum TV has done nothing absolutely wrong in the situation, which is false. So, I can confirm that after conducting what they say was a thorough investigation, YouTube has found Quantum TV 100% innocent of all charges and they will take no action against him. By making this decision, YouTube is effectively saying that abuse of the copyright ID tool and DMCA takedowns will never be punished, no matter how extensive. Copyright strikes are apparently a weapon anybody can use against other creators to threaten their channels and their livelihood. You will face no repercussions for committing perjury and filing fraudulent claims meant to harass others. They were unwilling to investigate anything that is not currently active YouTube link. Even if the evidence has been archived on the Wayback Machine, to me, this means you can break any and all of YouTube's community guidelines so long as you delete the evidence before they can investigate. YouTube has taken the stance that hate speech and wishing death on protected communities is perfectly fine so long as you delete the evidence. Their policies on external links is null and void and you can link your audience to whatever hate speech you wish. They are also perfectly fine with content dedicated towards harassing children slash minors that exist on the platform. I'm ecstatic to learn how much advertisers love to appear on videos of content creators harassing children and threatening them with bogus lawsuits, especially if those videos fall within fair use. YouTube is also taking the stance that there is nothing wrong with doxing other content creators' families, revealing the method by which you dox them, and making vile threats of violence and direct threats of legal action against other YouTubers' families. That type of content is not only perfectly fine, but is also fully monetizable. Quantum TV's videos threatening my mother are still up and fully monetized. YouTube, Quantum has objectively violated countless rules, guidelines, TOS, and therefore needs to be removed from the platform permanently. There is no debate. There is only your complacence in inaction. He has harassed other content creators on the platform for the last four years, and he will continue to do so until you do something about it. YouTube has failed to enforce the following community guidelines in this case. External links, hate speech, cyberbullying and harassment, additional policies, ban evasion, copyright abuse, harmful or dangerous content policies, child safety policy, spam, deceptive practices, and scam policies. This is the dark age of YouTube. Now, as you guys have or may have not known, I have covered Quantum TV on this channel before, and yes, this guy has sat here and harassed other content creators over a simple game review of Elden Ring, such as the channel Mischief, who is only 17, so he'd be considered a minor, and he even tried to take Mischief over court over this whole situation just because he made a video criticizing his terrible review, where he also told players of Elden Ring to go KYS. So yes, not only that, Quantum TV has been found out to be ban evading on YouTube for quite some time already. Not only that, he has done a myriad of other things such as contacting the Ackman's mother and threatening them and doxing him or making threats of doxing. And yet YouTube has completely found this, you know, there's nothing wrong with the situation apparently to YouTube. 
So yes, this right here very much does seem like the dark age of YouTube if they're just allowing this type of stuff to be said, this type of harassment and clear abuse of the copyright guidelines is completely fine to them. The verdict is in on Quantum TV. YouTube has found him 100% innocent of everything. In other words, they are not enforcing several of their own community guidelines. This sets a terrifying precedent for what creators are allowed to do slash say on the platform without facing any repercussions. Hi, Ackman. I understand the urgency and appreciate your patience whilst our specialist team conducted a thorough review of the content you shared with us. After thoroughly reviewing the additional links you sent to us, our specialist team did not find any violations of our community guidelines regarding your claims of abusive takedown requests. I can also confirm our copyright team reviewed all the details you provided and determined that there were no violations. The copyright submissions made by the other creator were valid, and though they may have been rejected, they were considered a fair request for review. In line with our copyright policy, whenever a copyright submission is accepted, we give the affected party a chance to submit a counter notification. I understand that this is not the outcome you are looking for, but I want to reiterate that our specialist team investigated the claims you shared and our decision stands. If you would like to schedule a phone call to share additional feedback about your experience on YouTube, then please let me know, but note that our phone call discussion will not change our decision as outlined above. So basically everybody, YouTube has completely failed us all. This right here is the perfect example of the fact that YouTube will do nothing when it comes to their creators being harassed by someone else on the platform clearly going against their guidelines and laws, breaking TOS, and a myriad of other things. The same thing that happened with the Acer Thorn situation in his channel is still up. You see, it's funny to me how if you sit here and you curse too much or say some no-no words on YouTube too much, they'll, you know, try not to share your video around too much or may even just straight demonetize your video or even your whole entire channel if you start to just curse too darn much. But when it comes to stuff like this where other content creators are clearly harassing each other on the platform, doxing, breaking TOS, and going against guidelines, and just abusing the copyright system and DMCA takedown, YouTube will do absolutely nothing about it. They won't do anything about their creators or help them, especially if it's smaller channels like us with only like a thousand or 500 or who knows, maybe just even a little bit more subs. I mean, this is the Ackman's channel we're talking about. He's not no small channel per se. The dude nearly has 2 million subscribers, and he gains a lot of views on his videos. Now, imagine if this was a smaller channel trying to do this, such as what Mischief was. He was a small channel before this whole quantum situation, and now he's at about 200k subs. Imagine if someone like me tried to do something like this. YouTube wouldn't have even responded to my request about this. And they're still not doing anything about the Ackman situation regarding this, even though he talked to them. This right here is just proof that YouTube has completely failed us all and will allow you to do whatever you want on the platform, no matter if it goes against the guidelines or laws. This right here is a terrible precedent and situation that YouTube is allowing the creators to do right here. Do better. With that being said, this is Mitsuni Nika. I will see you guys in the next video. I've been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town. And you're too far away, you're too far away.